Hi, I'm Bianca and I'm here with the lovely Izzy today. Hello, Hi. So we're going to show you how to make the poppy seed strudel from our anniversary cookbook. And now there's three parts to this recipe. You've got the crumb which goes on top, the poppy seed mixture and the dough. Yes. Now the dough's proved a little bit differently, isn't it? Yes, proved in a cold water, old fashioned way, but you will see the final result is amazing. So let's start and I'll show you how to make it. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah. So I've got my tea towel with me. I pre-made my dough. I transfer my dough into the tea towel. You can make a little bowl. And now we're going to wrap the dough like little bonbons, like this. I've got elastic today, but you can use a string if you want, like this. Okay, so here is my dough wrapped in my little bonbons. I prepare some water and now we're going to put the dough into the water. And after one hour it's going to rise on the top and then we'll be ready for the next step. So while our dough's been proving, we've whipped up some egg whites and we're going to mix that through our poppy seed mixture. Yes, Bianca. Now with the poppy seeds, it's important to soak them before you mill them, isn't it? Yes, it's very important, Bianca, because they, like you know, so poppy seed is very dry, so we have to soak it before. Yep. In warm water or in warm milk, if you want, if you prepare. Actually, we soaked ours in a warm water. Right. And now we're going to mix the egg white into the poppy seed so the mixture is nice and fluffy. It's beautiful. So in our filling, we've got nuts, we've got spices, sugar, honey, and we perfume our filling with a little bit of orange zest and orange juice. So our dough is ready. It's risen really nicely and we've got our filling and our crumble Ready to go? What's yes. our next step? How do we assemble the strudel? Oh, so watch now, Bianca. So my dough is a little bit sticky after the, the water bath, yep. so I will put a little bit more flour on top. And let's play. So it's nice and soft and stretchy. More flour, if you want. Yes. Yeah, so the flour okay. helps it stop sticking. Flour is stop sticking. Yep. And now I show you. To roll. So we're going to roll in a rectangle, like a 35 by 30 centimetres. I tuck my baking paper under the bread mat. Okay, baking after you've paper. rolled it up, yes. it goes onto the yes. baking paper. Which is Great. easy to transfer it later on a baking tray. And what happens next? Now the filling, Bianca. Right. And now is I show you how to roll. So I'm tuck usually those sides first. And now we're going from the bottom. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You can you always use a little bit of more flour if you want when it's a little bit more sticky. And we are baking paper and now we're going to transfer on our baking tray. So now before we're going to put our crumble on top we have to brush. Is it just the milk? It's just the milk, yep. yes, we're going to brush a little bit. Does that help give it, make it nice and brown? Nice and brown yeah. and we'll keep our crumble better. It helps it stick on. Stick right. on, yes. Everyone loves the crumble. What's in the crumble mix? Our oh, crumble is just butter, sugar, flour, a little bit of vanilla essence and that's it. So once the strudel has finished baking, how would you serve it, Isa? Oh darling, we just enjoy our strudel just with long black coffee mm -hmm. or just with tea. Thank yep. you very much. Yeah, nothing else really. 
Great, yeah. so just slicing it up and serving it up and yes. but there's nothing left at the end. <laughs> nothing else, no. The filling is beautiful, the crumble is really crumbly, golden, golden brown and yeah, enjoy like this. Yeah, it looks absolutely delicious. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us today and thank you Pleasure. Isa. And that was just one of the many delicious recipes that we have now creating something incredible cookbook available on the mix shop now.